Next question. Gonna, I mean, there's a plane overhead again. <laughs> okay, the next question we're going to look at today is from Indaman. Um, I've got it written down here. That's why I'm looking down. Um, 765. And he was asking, what are work conditions like for English teachers in Japan? And also, do ALT dispatch companies always rip people off? <laughs> um, because um, he said that he's seen some things on japanprobe.com and some stories about ALT companies ripping people off. And I actually have to admit that I've watched uh, some NHK news stories about ALT dispatch companies ripping foreigners off too. So, um, but honestly, I don't work uh, as an English teacher, so to speak. I don't work for a company like that. I don't work in an Ikaiwa, so I really don't know anything. So I'm going to turn this one over to EJ. Oh, that wasn't very masculine. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were we? Um, Technically, ALT dispatches to public schools are illegal. The con not the Constitution, the education law. Okay. I'm getting I'm thinking a little too big. The education law quite quite clearly says that uh, dispatch uh, teachers are illegal. That said, it's a very common practice, and the government does not enforce it. Mm. So you'll find a lot of um, dispatchers being um, dispatched to kindergarten, elementary, junior, even senior high school, and recently the trend is university. Oh wow, really? Yes. I didn't know that. Um, by and large, the Indoman 765? Something like that, yeah. His question is, is very uh, timely, because this is a big issue in Japan. Um, uh, as most of you know, Japan has been going through a recession for the last 15 years, mm. and it's not any better now it's that there's a any better. Open. It's actually getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. But the point is, so more and more people are, are are using more and more. I shouldn't people. More and more schools are using dispatch um, teachers. But it is a, a questionable legal matter. So it's not. A, I, my recommendation would be to stay away from those jobs. The, I've heard of rare exceptions where they are well paid. Oh, sorry, well paid, well treated. But that's very rare. Yeah, because I mean, I, I know that, for example, if you go to a, a big job hunting site in Japan, like gaijinpot.com yeah. or something like that, uh, the biggest advertisers are the big ALT dispatch companies. Yeah. And because um, they're working in numbers. Yeah, yeah. So they'll they'll offer you the base salary, which is about two hundred fifty thousand yen um, a month, and um, you've got Google, so you do the exchange rate. Um, Not good. And it's it, it's it's you know it, that would be tough to. If you were single, I suppose you could live on that, but not super well. Single and really young. Single and young. And don't have expensive taste. But if you had expensive taste, or you have a or family, you or you drink beer, um, it's not so easy to live on that. Uh, but it seems to me those are the people who, those companies are very prominent. Yes, very and prominent. And also, too, with the, the those dispatch companies, just to let you know, um, as an ALT, you will get two months summer vacation, but they don't pay you. Usually. Usually, usually. Depends on the dispatch um, I've met several people who work for dispatch companies, and uh, basically every summer they're on a two-month vacation with no money. And, and I don't they know, tend to have little or no health insurance, unemployment insurance. Why did I go from one to three? I'm sorry. Uh, unemployment insurance, health insurance, like you said, it's not a year-round contract. Um, or it is, but it's on, it's on paid time. Yeah. Um, because to get your visa, they need you on a one-year contract. But... My point is there are actually much better jobs. If you don't know, if you have no contacts in Japan and you are not a licensed teacher but have a four-year degree, my advice would be to either try the JET program, a sister city equivalent. Are they still around? Yes, a lot oh, of them. Okay. Or an Eikaiwa that's well-known like ECC. Or a, what's it, Eon? Or Eon, Eon, one of those. And you come here and you do a year or two, and then you find a better yeah, job. Yeah, because honestly, like I think a lot of those big Ikawa chains, they're probably not the the ideal situation, but um, they're definitely a lot more uh, a lot more stable. Yes. And you're going to be paid twelve months a year. Yes. And um, they're definitely a lot more stable than being an ALT. Uh, like if you're working for a dispatch company. If you have a teaching degree, you may be able to get work at a private or public junior or senior high school. If you have a master's or PhD, you may be able to get work at a university. Um, those are also avenues, but mostly those, unless you're really famous, I mean famous in the academic world, yeah. but unless you're famous in the academic world, you'll probably have to come here on a JET or a Kiowa position and then transfer over. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I think Kevin's advice was correct. Go with one of the big a Kiowa chains if you cannot get under the JET program. A lot of people. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.